Okay, this is going to be a short little rant, but I've had people tell me, like, Noah's flood was a local flood. It flooded the little area he lived in. Well, the people that say that, you got to look at what the Bible says. And it says, The waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills, that means all of them, not just the place where he lived, all the high hills that were under the whole heaven, means under the sky, were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail. Cubit is from... Your middle, um, your middle fingertip to your elbow. That's a cubit. So 15 of those upwards above the mountains. So that is not. So that means it's not a local flood. All the flesh died and moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beasts, and every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man. If it was a, if it was a local flood, the birds could fly away, and the man and the men could climb the nearest mountains. All those whose nostrils was the breath of life, and all that was on dry land died. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle, and creepy things, and a fowl of heaven, and they were destroyed from the earth. Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in his ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth a hundred and fifty days. Okay. That was Genesis 7, if you want to read the thing. 6 through 8, um, if you want to read a little bit more around it, if you want context. If you want to say I'm taking things out of context. But my thing about stuff like this, if people want to know, like, they want to say local, that Noah's flood was local. I like to also ask another thing. Why did God tell Noah to build a boat if it was a local flood? Why didn't you just tell Noah to move? And that's all I got to say about that. Hope you have a nice day. Believe the Bible. And God bless you. Goodbye.